One of the questions we get very often, usually from the family of, uh, of a patient who may be sent to us, is what are the chances that my loved one will survive either without surgery or with surgery. Um, in general, what studies have shown us is that patients with advanced heart failure, uh, if they come in critically ill, uh, generally face a mortality upwards of 80% during that hospitalization without any surgical therapy. In our hands here at Yale, we have been able to convert mortality risk of about 80% to a survival risk, a uh, survival advantage of about 70%. So really we're dropping the mortality rate from 80% to about 30%. And that in large measure comes from you know, a large group of very expert people really focusing on the care of every single one of these patients. In patients who have uh, long-standing heart failure, who come in for cardiac transplantation, uh, at our hospital, the survival in the first month after heart transplantation has been 100% over the last three years, and the survival one year after heart transplantation has been 100% over the, over the preceding three years. If you compare that to the region, New England in general, that one year survival is about 89%. So our, our group over here is, is accomplishing far better results in the area of heart transplantation. The third category of patients we look at are those who come in uh, for implantation of permanent heart pumps or left ventricular assist devices that reside within the body. Those patients in general face a six month mortality of about 50%. So about half of the patients who are sent to us will die within six months. In our hands we've been able to convert that to a survival of about 85% over one year. Uh, which is really uh, right in line with uh, 